What happens to a lithium ion battery when you drive a nail through it, put it in water, and then heat it up with fire? This is a lithium battery, the 18650. Again, I want to make sure you don't try this yourself because there could be a different reaction. Remove the paper top, pull off the plastic covering. Here's the silver can. With a pair of pliers, we'll peel back the top of the lid. Even with that little amount of tampering, it's starting to warm up, so I took it outside. This is for educational purposes. Whatever you do, don't do this. I'll just keep tapping it down with a hammer. You can see a hole in it there. There's a good gash in it right here. I'll pour some water on it. We'll drive a nail through it. Then pour some water on it. We'll throw it into a pan of water. As I look at it in the water, I see little bubbles popping up. No reaction yet. We'll chop it up a bit more. We'll secure it down and chop it up. We'll open it up a bit. Still no reaction, but it's chopped up pretty good. We'll go ahead and put it back in the water. A lot more reaction. It's been sitting in the water for about five minutes. You can see it's pretty chewed up. We'll set it back in some more water. Definitely a reaction when you put it in. Here's a piece of lithium that was on the wood. We'll set that in the water. Now we've done quite a bit to this battery and there has been some reaction, but not a very large reaction. We'll go ahead and heat it up. We'll add some kerosene. Now we'll go ahead and add it back in. With the kerosene, there's a bit more of a bigger flame, but not much more of a reaction with lithium. Let's pull it out of the flames and see how it reacts. So there's definitely flame on it. Now let's throw it in the water. One thing that's interesting is it doesn't cool down as fast as a lot of other things. Although the reaction was different than I thought, it was at least interesting.